Brian Tracy tells us, if you need to eat the frog today, start your day by doing the most uncomfortable, unpleasant thing. Because usually it's the most valuable thing. And if we neglect it, usually it's going to result in even more stress. Let's take a, an example from a Torah, Yonah. Yonah the prophet, he had, they had a, to do a job. The job was go to Nineveh and tell the people that the, the city is going to get destroyed. And he was really uncomfortable with this job. He didn't want to do it for a number of reasons. And what did he do? He is running away from the job. He's running away from God. So that uncomfort turns into even more stress. Now he gets swallowed by the fish. And in our, in our life, it's the same thing. Let's say a person has a court and they, he doesn't want to go to the court. He feels so uncomfortable and he feels like, oh, I don't want to do it. I have such a good defense. Like, well, I, I don't want to face the judge. I don't want to uh, face the, the lawyer. And then he doesn't show up. Guess what happens? He gets even more stress. They found him guilty by default, just with the, the fact that he didn't show up. And that's it. Now he has to deal with the more stress. Or another uh, person, let's say, has a project at, at work and he's I don't want to do it it's such a hard uh, project and he keeps postponing it and he doesn't want to do it and day after day he neglects it and then the due date comes and the boss says where's the project and he says I'm sorry I didn't do it fired and now he has to <laughs> he has more stress to deal with so the Brian Tracy tells us eat that frog first Stephen Covey tells us first things first the most uncomfortable things usually the most important things usually the most valuable things and by running away from them, we're not helping anyone. So let's face the challenge, let's tackle it, and let's accomplish it, and let's eat that frog first.